Hello and welcome to this video about my favorite songs from Blonde and Channel Orange by Frank Ocean. First of all, it's been quite a long time since I have filmed a Frank Ocean video, which is really a travesty on my end. It's very tragic because I absolutely love Frank Ocean. If you have seen my blonde reaction that I filmed back almost a year ago now, uh, first of all, thank you because that is my most viewed video on my channel. But secondly, if you've seen it, I know my reaction might be a little intense at times or dramatic, but that's definitely not for the camera. I just am very excited by music that connects with me instantly. And that album connected instantly with me. I loved so much about that album. And I tried posting my channel Orange reaction, but unfortunately it got blocked like 500 times. So instead I filmed more of like a channel Orange review with snippets of my first time listening reaction. And I'm really bummed that I haven't been able to show my full initial reaction to channel Orange because that album, once again, instantly in love with, like just absolutely, absolutely adored that album. And I wanted to make a video talking about my top 10 favorite songs from both of those albums because those are Frank Ocean's official LPs, like his official studio albums he has released are those two albums. And I wanted to film this video first because very soon I also plan on filming videos of me hearing Endless and hearing uh, Nostalgia Ultra for the very first time. So let's go ahead and talk about my top 10 favorite songs from from Channel Orange and Blonde, I picked five songs from each album. And considering how intensely I love both of these albums, picking five songs as my top five from each album was kind of impossibly difficult. And because of that, I do have a few honor honorable mentions as well. First, let's talk about Channel Orange since it is the first official album by Frank Ocean. Channel Orange is nearly 10 years old already. It came out in 2012 in the summertime, which um, time flies. That's all I can say about that. That is crazy. By the way, my five that I am listing as my five most listened to songs from Channel Orange, this is not in any particular order. That was impossible, so I wasn't going to be able to do that. But we'll go ahead and talk about the first one, which is Lost. I love Lost because it is upbeat and it's definitely has some pep in its step. I really like the music in it. Like I really enjoy the strings that are on the chorus. I just think it adds a really like kind of light element to the song musically. Lost is a fun one to to sing along to for me. I think it's a very easy song to sing along with. Well, not easy in the sense of like, I sound good singing along to it, but it's catchy. It's just a good catchy song that I think many people could very easily enjoy. Another song from Channel Orange that I love that is a totally different vibe from Lost is Crack Rock. Crack Rock, the music production, the music is everything on that song for me. It's a little, it's like jazzy and it's free spirited styling of playing that I just find so wonderful to listen to. And the lyrics are, I mean, the lyrics are pretty like dark. They're not, you know, exactly fun, uplifting lyrics, but once again, I just think the lyrics match that music styling so well, like the free kind of just like jamming out jazz style music with what the song's context is. I think it just pairs up really well. So I love listening to Crack Rock. I really do. Ah, a song from Channel Orange that when I heard it, I instantly, instantly knew it was going to be one of my ultimate faves from the album was definitely Sweet Life. It comes in with that just tender, jazzy piano playing, which I love piano. And I love the lyrics. I love the melody of the song and a hymn singing. And it just like 
builds into this wonderful band kind of orchestra style, like big band kind of almost style moment musically that I just was all about paired up with his wonderful vocals, paired up with Frank's wonderful, wonderful vocals. Sweet Life just ticks all the boxes of like a classic style of song that I love. Like it has the music instruments I love hearing most. I love how great his singing is. And there was definitely some surprising ad libs in there that I loved. It literally just and it's got a good kind of groove to it. And I love the guitar. It takes all the boxes of music that I naturally will be so drawn to and love so much. Sweet Life is like tick, tick, tick. It's got all of that, all of it. I think this song is impossible to not be on anyone's like top favorite songs from Channel Orange, and that is Pyramids. Pyramids is incredible. It was so surprising the first time I heard it. Like I just was like, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? I loved that I didn't know where the music was going to go next as the song progressed. And part one obviously was very surprising for me musically and I loved it and it just was so unique in that it felt very much so like not anything I'd ever heard which I am always excited by and then it transitioned seamlessly into a totally different part two that gave a totally different kind of story and the story lyrically was very clear and the music matched up with the lyrics so beautifully to create that entire kind of nighttime moody vibe that is just so cool. Like it, uh, it is so cool. I think Pyramids is just a classic in Frank Ocean's music, 110%. Finally, from Channel Orange. A song that quite literally made me lose my mind when I first heard it. And I continue to love it, love it, love it, love it oh so much. Bad Religion. Ugh, so incredible. Bad Religion has the strings. Ugh, the strings that I long for. The emotion. The lyrics are so emotional and so sad. And you can feel feel it in his singing and that's what I adore you can feel the emotion so much like clearly it's like just this feeling of desperation and I love the way the chorus starts with the strings like da 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 and then he just yearns and sings out in such a yearning way if it brings me to my knees like it is you can just feel it you feel it so much I, I can you tell I love this song because I love this song it's just gorgeous and then when I I will never forget when I first heard it and he got to the end and he just surprised me with that wonderful wonderful note that just sounded it just sounded so good. Like it was so surprising. And I love Bad Religion so much. It's a wonderful storytelling song. Like it's a great storytelling song that just punches you in the feels like it just <clears throat> it is a heart wrencher. I absolutely adore it. Now let's talk about my five favorite songs from Blonde. This one is kind of the same as Sweet Life, which was I think within the first Literally within the first five seconds of hearing it, I knew that it was going to be one of my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorites from the album. And that is Pink and White or Pink Plus White. I don't know. I don't know exactly if the plus is an and or if it's actually a plus sign, but whew, <clears throat> that song, the piano drew me in. It pulled me in so easily. I was sucked in like that the moment the song started playing and all of the different elements musically. And then I love, obviously I love his vocals. I love the lyrics. And then when it transitions into the second verse, we added some more acoustic guitar and some different style of like drumming going on and different, like different instruments that it just ever so slightly 
shifted the feel of the song in such a unique way that I was not expecting, but welcomed with my arms wide open. And this was, and like the icing on the cake of this song was just, I thought it just was so dreamy. It really, it is a very dreamy song musically, but it also has a lot of those like traditional music elements of kind of jazz-esque again, kind of coming through, which I love. And this all of this, I was already in love with this song right off the bat. And then it wasn't until after I heard it the first time and I started reading the comments when I posted the video that everyone informed me that it was freaking Beyonce on the backing vocals. And then I couldn't unhear it. Once I realized it, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, it, it's just such a good song. It's truly one of my one of my, honestly, I think I would put pink and white or pink plus white. However, I would honestly put this song on one of my like music playlists. If I had like music playlists that defines Shelby's ultimate taste in music or that define me as a person, that song, boom, I would definitely put that song on my like all time playlist of like, this feels like me in music. Now this song is kind of like Bad Religion in that I just love his vocals so much and I love that he's kind of taken me to church in it and that is Godspeed. And I know that this is a song a lot of people have used on social media. I kind of ignore that because I just hope if those people are using that song on social media, they've actually listened to the whole song and understand like how wonderful and emotional of a song it is because I think Frank's vocals are absolutely gorgeous on it. I love that it is very gospel-esque in the music with the organ. It's just gorgeous. It's literally just gorgeous and I love hearing it. Another instant classic in my eyes as soon as I heard Blonde was self-control. I loved self-control and then I just continued to love it even more as the song progressed and we got the strings that came in. Absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to cry. And then the song continued and then we had all of his wonderful layered vocals and then the harmonies kept getting added onto it. I lost my mind. I still lose my mind. I blast that song on my headphones. Like I just blast it because it's it's so kind of simple at first where it's just like, you know, it's just an electric guitar being picked at and his gorgeous vocals that are kind of layering over each other and and then it just builds and it doesn't build into this like extravagant thing that's like as extravagant as musically as like pink and white where there's so many different things going on but it just his own voice is building it's like a carefully curated build that feels so powerful without being just way beyond and way overwhelming. It's just right. Ah, oh, I love self-control. A song that is a single from Blonde that I have found myself listening to a lot is Nike's. I think Nike's is cool because it definitely, the vocals and the effects on the vocals are 100% unique to what you typically hear on the album. So when you very first hear Nike's, you might not know that it's a Frank Ocean song. And I actually really enjoy that. I think that that's really cool. And I just really like the beat. I like the general vibe and the beat of Nike's and that I think has made it one that I have found it very easy to listen to in a variety of situations and on a variety of different playlists of mine that it's definitely one of my most played songs from Blonde. Finally, from Blonde, one that I love listening to a ton, a ton, a ton is Nights. I love singing along to Nights. I love listening to Nights. I love that there are different parts of the song that sound very different from other parts of the song in Nights. It's another song that goes through phases in his library. And I love a song that takes me on a journey and Nights definitely does that musically and lyrically it takes you on a journey and it has a lot of different things to love about it 
I feel like I just talked at the speed of light through everything because that's how much I love Frank Ocean's music. Like, I don't think you guys probably realize it, but after hearing Blonde and Channel Orange, I always knew that I enjoyed Frank Ocean as an artist and his music, especially from different features he was on and such. But seriously, I love, love, love his albums so much like overall as a whole I can listen to both of those albums front and back without skipping any songs at all so that's why that also leads me to my honorable mentions that I quickly want to say because of the fact that I do love these albums so much so from Blonde my two honorable mentions that I play almost just as much as all of those other songs if not about the same amount are Solo and White Ferrari. So the three songs from Channel Orange that I have as my honorable mentions would be Thinking About You, Pink Matter, and then this one that I think is probably a big skip for most people, but I actually really enjoy because I just think it's very lighthearted and uh, fun lyrically, and I love the references, and that is Forrest Gump. I listen to Forrest Gump a lot. I think that's one that doesn't really quite fit in with the rest of Channel Orange, but I don't care. I think it's so fun and it kind of makes me laugh. It makes me smile. It makes you feel of like teenage love. And I don't know, I just think it's really enjoyable. So yeah, I freaking love these albums by Frank Ocean. Like overall, the entire albums, both of them, are incredible and I'm not just saying that I think Frank Ocean has become for me like if I have to list like top artists that I feel like describe the music that I am interested in and like to listen to most naturally he's on that list now like a thousand percent he's on that list so I'm really excited to continue making videos about Frank Ocean. I am so ready to listen to Endless and Nostalgia Ultra. Let's go ahead and talk about our favorite songs from these albums in the comments. I love reading the comments and seeing what everyone loves most and talking with you all and just ah, talking about music I love makes me happy. So let's go ahead and talk about that in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so, or give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.